Right. The sides come right up the edge. Very carefully pour spaghetti out. The trick is to get it even an even thickness all the way around the tray. You don't want thick spots and thin spots where some will dry more than others. Some may not dry enough. These are tomato beans and tomato sauce. The other ones I did are in a maple. I like the maple ones. They make a nice little lunch on the trail. Second layer. And according to the instruction manual on my dehydrator, it says it doesn't matter how many trays you're drying, use all the trays when you're running it. So, put the empty trays back on top. Okay, so I'm going to set a temperature now at 150. About 150. And I'm going to give those about 8 hours to dry, and then we'll check them out. They should come out like this. Dry. They're dry and crumbly. Okay, so to rehydrate these beans, I'm going to, I want to bring it back up to the same volume that this was. This was 398 milliliters which works out to one and three quarter cups. So if I take these beans and I pour them in a measuring cup and then I add water until I reach the one and three quarter cup mark on the measuring cup and let them sit for 20 minutes I will have a fresh can of beans ready to eat. Hydrated them. I'm going to put them in my cup and add water to the one and three quarter cup mark. Let them sit for ten minutes. And I'm going to have a, a can of Canadian maple beans. So there's the beans. And they almost fill up the cup. Water's boiled. So, fill that up. We stir. finished beans. They're uh, give them about 10 minutes and they're right back to as they were 